Hello, hello, it's Stelt here. So uh, before we get into the gameplay, I just want to do a quick little overview of Moan Crow because I haven't done that on my channel yet. And understanding how his kit works and what items we're buying is definitely going to make more sense later on when we get into the gameplay. All right, with that in mind, Moan Crow is a pretty um, middle of the road when it comes to mobility. You have three, which is pretty standard. You also have a shotgun as your main weapon. This really helped you out with Moe and Krill's identity of wanting to stay close range and not really play from far away. You want to be a tank like initiated for your team or you want to be able to catch off enemies who are trying to take your team down. You're kind of like a support, but you also end up dealing a ton of damage. Going over our abilities, first one is Scorn. It's a little circle AOE around you. It deals damage and it heals you and the heals are stronger against enemy heroes than they are against minions, but you still get a relatively decent amount if you're hitting three or four minions at the same time your second ability is your burrow you channel it you go underground you can use your one when you're underground and then if you cancel it you can also um come up and deal damage also while you're doing this you can still press your one that's just really important to know that you're always gonna sort of have your um i didn't mean to grab that that's sort of important to know that like when you're burrowed you can use one and when you're spinning, you can still use your one. So that's all different times that you're able to heal while still doing damage. And your third ability is Sandblast. This just disarms the enemies. And it's a really long cooldown, but it's really good for stopping people from CSing. Or say that you want to go in for a fight. You just do that. They can't hit you. They have to punch you. And since you know they have to punch you, if they do it, you could just parry. Moe's last ability is their best one. It's called Combo. You grab someone, you stun them, you deal damage, you can press one at the same time. That, that That's it. This is most best ability. People just don't get to play the video game anymore. So like little combos are basically everything that you just saw. When you're buried, you can press one. When you're up, you can also press one if it's off cooldown. And when you have this combo going, you can just press one again. When it comes to your disarm, this is honestly a really good ability but on a 35 second sorry 42 second cooldown you just need to be really careful of how like when you're using it you could either use it as an engage or you could use it as a disengage like you're dying like oh no i need to get away and that just gives you like three and a half seconds to be able to run away and not get shot they can still use their abilities though so just be a bit careful about that all right going over the build setting it up like this made the most sense to me as like a tanky character damage wise we are very much going more into spirit than we are gun and the reason for that is this scales the spirit this scales the spirit and this scales the spirit and we're just trying to get as much tankiness and as much damage with our abilities as we can we want to be able to spam our combo and the more damage we do with our scorn it just turns into more healing so early on in the game uh we have high velocity mag close quarters monster rounds melee charge as our laning gun options high velocity mag is going to be better if you're noticing that you're playing more of a long range like you can't really get it on the enemies and if you do you take a ton of damage this is very easily a good option to keep away from the enemies and it's giving you more bullet velocity so like it just helps you to secure things easier Although Moe and Krill is already really good at that. Close quarters is your I'm going in and I want to kill somebody option. And I've been taking this a pretty decent amount. Note that both of these are also giving bullet shield health. So that means that like next to your health bar, you'd get like a little um, bullet shield thing right here. And you can take 85 damage from bullets before you actually lose your health. So those are both really good for that at the same time. And I end up taking close quarters a pretty decent amount. Uh, laning spirit options, we have ammo scav. We don't have the biggest mag. It's a 20 shot mag. So if you want to just like... So if you want to keep shooting the orbs and getting your ammo back, it's pretty useful for that. Um, for example, it still takes a pretty long time. And then that gives two ammo back. Wait, they changed his... Alright, so since the last time I played the game, they actually changed his heavy. And I kind of like it better this way. It's kind of cool. He used to just punch like everyone else, and he doesn't do that anymore. That's kind of cool. 
all right that was Emiscav spirit strike if you end up going into like a more punchy play style early on it'll just give you some more damage mystic reach is good for uh making your ones aoe vinegar and you can just heal more off that i also have these as like little safety things we have melee lifesteal if you're taking like melee lifesteal spirit strike and melee charge it's really strong early on but not always the best thing to do extra regen gives you some just more health regen over time bonus health and it's giving you more ammo which again is super useful since you don't really have the biggest magazine enduring spirit gives you more spirit lifesteal i really like taking this one if i'm being aggressive because this is now healing twice you're getting the 10 percent from the spirit lifesteal and you're getting the damage to heroes you also start to heal with burrow and your ult and your sandblast and everything else healing right is like i'm really struggling i'm playing so far back i have high velocity mag and i'm still getting screwed i just need to grab healing right mid game uh core item is torment pulse improved cooldown mystic vulnerability these are core everything else is situational torment pulse is really great it just deals damage when you're near someone it works when you're burrowed it also works when you're ulting that's just a ton more like consistent damage over time and you're going to be near people because you this reduces the damage you take um eventually we're going to get a lot of sustain off of this and r1 heals us so the longer we stay near people the more damage we do improved cooldown just lets us use all of these more often Mystic Vulnerability re basically just makes people take more damage. It's reducing their spirit resist. So like, even with this, this is slowly doing more damage too. And it just scales up to 55 rather than like the 40 something it was at before. Let's wait for it to go down. Yeah. So it's just 10 damage on this and then more damage on everything else too. It's like a 10% increase. Um, we also have bullet armor, spirit armor. If you're taking a lot of consistent damage, you can grab one of these. And then the two barriers are, in my opinion, very undervalued. If you're playing against people who just have a ton of bursty damage, for example, a lash, you could take an enchanter's barrier, and this is blocking 300 damage of his burst. Meanwhile, when you still have your shield, you're getting a bunch of consistent buffs, like spirit power and cooldown reduction. So then you can use your abilities even more. I've been taking the one of these, if not both of them, almost every game, and also just grabbing armor at the same time. Mystic Shot's really great just to get more damage on your gun. Soul Shredder Bullets is great because the more you're autoing somebody with your gun you end up getting spirit lifesteal and spirit amp to deal more damage with all of your abilities late game gun warp stone is very important a lot of people know to stay away from you and i don't really build more of this i just ended up grabbing a thing and it's not going to go away now i don't know how to make it go away so that's fine what warp stone does is it gives you a little teleport i um messed up i didn't want this i want warp stone what warp stone does is it gives you a little teleport and while that might not seem the most important it helps you get your ultimate it also helps you if you're coming on in with your burrow knock them up immediately into the ultimate the warp stone is really great it's really small the cooldown's only 12 seconds so you could even just use it around the map too like Somebody starts to chase you, you get away from them, and then you're going back into a fight. Your teammates start to engage now. This guy should be dead. Um, Divine Kevlar is also very important in my opinion. I take this almost every game. Whenever we use our ultimate, we gain 700, both shield. We're going to be using our ultimate often, and if we're in the middle of a team fight, there's a very good chance everyone's going to start to focus us as soon as they see that we're not moving because we're a very easy target. And Divine Kevlar just helps nullify that. It effectively, at least at level one, doubles our health. Later on in the game, it's not going to be necessarily doubling our health, but that's still a really, really good thing to get. Honestly, tripling our health because it's 700 bullet and 700 uh, spirit um 
I haven't been taking improved reach as much. I like to grab superior cooldown, put it on the ult, and superior duration, and put it on the ult. And you just keep someone locked down for a really long time now. A lot of times you can end up just getting a kill by yourself. Then for our other things, alchemical fire could be good. I don't take it very often. It just makes everything like your gun damage higher. And it's sort of just like a support item. It does damage over time. It increases gun damage. That That's it. I don't take it a lot of the time. But it's still nice to have the option of. I'd like to bring Escalating Resilience. Because again, it just makes you tankier. You can get up to 40% bully... You can get up to 40% bullet resist just by shooting your gun. Silencer is also another great like option as like a bruisery support. Because you could just hit people and silence them and keep them from hurting your teammates. Mystic Reverb is really fun too. I imbue it onto my ultimate a lot of the time. Um, it could also go onto your two. And this just slows people in a radius around. And it deals an additional percentage of the damage done to the target. Um, honestly, more often than not, I feel like it's better on the two. But I like to put it on the ult sometimes too. And when you do this, you're slowing him. And he can't really get away. If he does like dash away, you just warp stone. And they're, they're never getting away from you. Another reason they're never going to get away from you is you could also grab Phantom Strike. I like to have both of these. So the difference between Warp Stone and Phantom Strike is Warp Stone is untargeted. And you just get a little teleport. And that's all it does. It also gives you a tiny bit of bullet resist, but like not the most helpful. Phantom Strike for 3200 souls more is applying a disarm, a slow, and it's dealing damage. But the caveat is it has to be on a target. But... Look at the range of it. So, for example, we could... More often than not, I wouldn't use all these. But you could just, like, go back in and, like, you're in range now. Warp stone, head them up. And, like, if you need to get out at this point, you still have your warp stone. Very cool ability. I also like going Colossus and Unstoppable a lot just because it just makes you really tanky. Uh, if you get Colossus, like as you're going in when you're two, you can get Colossus and just be really tanky. Um, Unstoppable is also really great because you can't get your ult canceled then. Veil Walker is kind of cool. I really like it because it's giving 200 Bullet Shield and 200 Spirit Shield. Um, when you walk through a fail it's also giving you stealth and increased move speed so you just get around the map a lot faster while you're also getting tanky at the same time um other than that the invisibility doesn't really in my opinion do the most for you but it's really cool with your two you're now invisible while you're doing this it's kind of cheesy but it's also a lot of fun and it does synergize really well because of that too. They can hear you, but like, is somebody really gonna be able to get away from that? Not really. This is one that I don't take as often. I do think Phantom Strike is much better. Colossus is much better for keeping you alive because it's just giving you 600 health in general, but this is just a much cheaper option at 3000. Um, I would recommend more often than not getting phantom strike first but if you're not really able to live that well in fights and you do need more tankiness veil walker could just be good getting it before so usually like by the time the game ends my build looks something like this let's just grab our flex slots too torment pulse is a must these are pretty much a must uh mr griever i don't always get because sometimes I need a little bit more tankiness. Honestly, by the time you get to about like here, you, like you should be winning the game. Like I haven't really gone super late on Mo, and you don't want to. He's really strong early. But if you, I had to go like full build. Let's grab Unstoppable so we can't get hit out of our ult and then just like Mystic Reverb too. Again, on our two, it's not letting me do that though. 
So this would be like a full end game combo. You'd be going in. You would X unstoppable. And that would sort of just be like it. We have 2600 health. We have a ton of different shields. We shouldn't really be dying super easily, especially considering we have like our warp stone. Um, just make sure that when you're going in, you pop your abilities first and you warp strike. Or sorry, phantom strike. If you use your warp stone to go in more so at the end of the game, you can't use it to get out. Um, which is fine if you have teammates around, but you're not always going to have teammates around. And it's nice to have this as your escape too. mid game. Use it as your engage. Go for it. You don't have phantom strike yet. If you can get onto someone and use all your abilities, they're basically just dead anyway. And if not, you still have a decent amount of damage with your gun, even though we're not building into it. When it comes to leveling up our abilities, I usually um, get my one and my three in lane and I level up my one first. This just reduces the cooldown on it. You're getting more heals. You can hit minions. You can hit enemies and heal on up. After that, we pick up our two and our four, of course, and I'm usually just leveling this all the way first. The reason for this is it's giving us more damage and it's adding a debuff to enemies that just makes us do even more damage for 16 seconds. So if we go in, we hit our one and we do this. We hit our one first and all of this damage is now increased by 15%. After that, I'm going to level up my two all the way. Reason for this is we're just getting more damage and it also gives us a move speed increase. So we can just get around the map really fast. If we have like Veilwalker, we can just really zoom if we're going through all the different um things. So like, for example, let's take off bullet armor because we didn't need it this game for some reason. And we're just zooming through the map at this point. And we can really just pick people off that easily when we have that much um move speed. After that, we're going to level up our ultimate all the way. It gives us more bullet resist during the combo, makes it longer, and it also gives us lifesteal while we're doing it. So not only is this just doing more damage and life stealing us, our one's life stealing even more because it's getting the two times hero damage to heal, and it's also getting the 100% life steal from this. And then lastly, we'll just level this up. Um... It reduces the cooldown and stuff. At the end of the game, it's still a 15 second cooldown though. So it's not the best ability that we have. It's just nice to have as a disarm. But we also have the disarm in this too. So we're just really annoying and people can't get away from us. And we can save our teammates very easily by pressing four and glyph clicking. So yeah, that's my own crow. We want to be able to win the game early on and then just keep the enemy team from being able to do anything that's our entire game plan and yeah let's get into the gameplay all right hey guys um i've been playing a lot of moan crow recently and he's honestly turning into one of my favorite characters so i just want to do another video with him and i'm just going to try to do live at the same time and see how it goes so mingle get cs harass the enemies if i can steal cs that's perfect and we're with a bebop here so we should be a pretty annoying lane to fight against they have a seven seven and a wraith so it shouldn't be too hard to just uh fight against them wraith can be annoying as you see there she just does a ton of damage but with Bebop here, we should be able to chill out and get what we need and just harass a bit. I shouldn't have reloaded there. And I also shouldn't be running into things. Go in for a little heal. getting stuck on everything i'm just gonna back up real quick get a little heal from that minion get a quick buy i'm just gonna grab melee life steal i just messed him up but oops
I was trying to quick steal that, but. Messed up again. We're just harassing on the side. There's no reason not to. Alright. Now I can back up. Quick healing. Parry this so we can get some more time to shoot it. All right, I'm going to back up here again. I'm going to grab close quarters and let's do an extra regen. I messed up. I was trying to. Little punch for some heals. Go back in for some more heals. All right. Disarm her, beat her up. Just keep moving around. Steal some of that. I want to get these. Mo and Curl having a shotgun makes getting CS pretty easy, which is also nice. And I'm leveling up my one. That's just for the extra sustain. Bebop's coming back in now. I'm getting stunned, so I need to move behind the wall. When Maurice finds you, you are done for. So I really like Mo and Krill for how in and out he is. Keep getting them low, but I need a little bit more damage. So I'm gonna grab melee charge here. And we do get our ult. Let's get some healing in real quick. Let's see if we can catch her with this. Into the ult. Nice. And he came up with his too. And we can hopefully just get this guardian down. There should be coming back soon, but... Make sure we're shooting those so they can't get them. All right, and we should be backing up here, but he's going in. Let's see if I can do anything to help him with that. I got ulted, which isn't good. Very not good. We're out of here. I'm just going to pull back real quick. Bebop ended up dying, but it's fine. We're being chilling. Alright, so now I'm going to grab improved cooldown and Mystic Reach, and we're going to go back. 
Our ult's coming up again. So we're gonna see if we can do anything here. Doesn't look like it. Let's just get the farm. They're pushing in, and I'm gonna see if I can get a little gank over here on blue. I kind of want my um, burrow, but I don't necessarily need it. They backed up. Perfect. I'm getting ulted, that's really bad. I'm dead here. There's no way I live. That was a little too in. I'm gonna save up for Torment Pulse now if I can though. Alright, I'm gonna go back to green. And just sort of clear camps toward yellow now. By the time I get there, I should have my ult back up, so that's the plan. If I had my two, this would be a lot faster, but I don't want to use it now. Make sure we get those two. Alright. And I have one more camp, but... McGinnis looks like she might... She's backing up. I have another camp. I could also go over to green if it looks like Bebop needs help, but he's also backing up. Doesn't seem worth it to me. I don't really want to dive the tower. Eh, whatever. Got her. All right, and now they're pushing our green Tyler, our green guardian, but we should be able to get this one. And I'm parrying the um, boss because it stops it from using its little laser. Um, that just helps us have more time for like our minions or us to stay on him. We run back over to green now. And uh, mid game crow mowing krill sort of just turns into like a roaming support. You run over, use your ult to get a kill or two, and then uh, keep the aggression going. Um, I have 3000, which means I can get the item that I want, and I'm gonna do that. Torment pulse. Now we just do spirit damage to people near us. Um, our purple lane is ruins right now, so I need to get over there. We clear stuff really fast on Moon Krill, so that's something that we could just use to our advantage. And just get around the map and do what we need to do and keep moving. I 
I'm leveling up my two now because it's really good for your movement when it's fully leveled. Now our yellow lane is getting pushed in, but Bebop's responding to it, so that should be fine. He's been doing pretty good. And I'm just trying to get over to green. Now they're backing off. Again, we have our ultimate. We're just looking for a kill. No, we got it. So there's no point in being here anymore. And so we're clearing camps and one seven's done pushing blue up. We'll be ready to run over and deal with that. Got some jungle up right here. Might as well grab it. And I'm going to clear over to purple. I wanted to do the camp right there, but this seems more important. She looks like she's backing up. And at this point, I might grab some defensives. Um, looks like their team so far is mostly bullet damage. So I might grab a combat barrier. And some more damage. I can't, I'm... Dead. I was struggling so hard with that for some reason. <laughs> Love when that happens. Um, I was gonna leave, but... We could actually push this. Our team's leaving. Fine, I'll leave too. Yeah, let's just go by. After we do this camp. Can we help this at all? Nope. Paradox swap me. I will take that as my out. And I'm going to go buy an item now. I was going to buy defenses, but we're going to just go big. Diviner's Kevlar. We're doing pretty good. I feel like I should be fine with that. Uh, Warpstone could also be good at this point too, just so I can get onto people. She gone. I can't catch her until I get my two upgraded. Blue's getting pushed in again, but our team's responding to it, so I'm gonna get this camp. Really need to get my two upgraded. That'll help my mobility out a ton. And when I get 3,000, I'm just gonna go back and buy a warp stone for the same reason. Yeah, if I had a warp stone, I could catch him here, but I can't. Perfect. 
All right, we'll push this wave again, and then I'm going to grab that camp. There's a lot going on in yellow right now, but... Mm. There's a lot going on at yellow, so instead, let's just do this. I'm trying to get it to do its slam. They're definitely coming for me now. I saw multiple people on the way. Yeah, I don't like it. We're just getting out. If I can get to 6,000 for two items, that'll be great. Haze is going over to purple from what it looks like here. Bad. All right, so like I said, we're gonna grab warp stone. This just lets us get into range easier, and I'm gonna get superior cooldown for my ult. And this pocket should just be dead. I'm gonna go back to blue because if I can get this uh walker down it'll be great. Just trying to get around where I need to be. I'm pretty strong, so like for most people I can just straight up fight them, especially when I have my ultimate up. I'm the spear cooldown should be open pretty often. Uh, I see two people on purple and two people on yellow, so this should just be free. And, because why not, just kill this real quick. Our team's pushing purple, so I'm gonna go help them out. I could get a knock-up on someone here, it'd be great, but... That was a big ouchie for them. It's resistant because we have no minions. They got it down, so I'm going in. Got him. We get out. Take our wins. Oh, never mind. We're going back in. If I can reach this, it'd be great. I'm expecting a swap here. Perfect. Lady Geist is behind. Yep, and we're out. I'll grab these boxes. Boxes are always good. Our ult's now fully upgraded too. And I'm gonna grab this camp over here. This guy can't fight me unless there's multiple people here. There is, so we're just gonna get out. I really need to buy, but there's stuff on the map, so I might as well stick around and clear this. All right, now we're gonna go grab Phantom Strike. Uh, what Phantom Strike does is it lets us teleport to our enemies. And it's an even bigger range than Warp Stone. Alright, 
All right, team's responding to purple, so I don't need to worry about that. Just trying to see if I can find a pick somewhere. Bebop wants to do mid boss, but McGinnis is fighting on the green lane. And our yellow lane is also getting pushed. I'm gonna run over here. Alright. That's Phantom Strike. Alright, our team's getting the rejuve. We killed someone. Pocket backed up. I don't think this will be contested. Alright, we need to go get yellow. Splitting them and moving here, and then I'll be right there. I could have probably pushed that out more, but... Our team's pushing, so I might as well be with them. Um, our purple walker is also getting pushed, but hopefully whoever's pushing that should just come back here. I was trying to get an ult off and I messed it up. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm getting stunned here. That hurt really bad. And I have pocket. I did that so bad. If I grabbed her, Divine Kevlar saved me. But since I didn't, that was just a very bad play by me. Uh, I need some spirit armor at this point. So, Trainer's Barrier, spirit armor. And let's just do Duration Extender too. Since we have the money for it. Our purple and yellow lanes should both push naturally. So I'm just going to go back to the team. They both have relatively big waves. Purple actually isn't super big, but... I was going to ult him, but there was no reason to. Get their patron down. There should just be a win here, honestly. I was hoping to grab him. I got him missing everything. Whatever. Hayes wants to ult, Hayes doesn't get to ult. GG. And that's Mo and Crow. We love him, he does good things. We run around the map, we be annoying, and we win games. Very low damage game, but we were able to get second highest lots of objective damage yeah moan crew he's a good boy all right peace